here in Dayton, Ohio right now at Omega Music. Uh, we're located at 318 East 5th Street in the Oregon District, the historic Oregon District. And uh, my name is Mike. Welcome to Omega. So the Oregon District is uh, kind of a, an arts district. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, vintage stores, vintage clothing, vintage furniture. There's art galleries. Uh, there's also a lot of bars, so at night it kind of turns into a party district. We have the uh, Dayton Dragons also in town. Um, they're the single A uh, baseball franchise there uh, of the Reds. So I'm a big Reds fan if you couldn't tell, so I go to a lot of Dragons games. But what's nice is the city of Dayton has made um, uh, great strides to make, uh, if you come into town for, for a ball game, make it real easy to come down to the Oregon District. Of course, you've got the, like you said, the Air Force Museum, uh, Wright-Patterson Air Force Base is here. I think it's like the third biggest uh, Air Force Base in the country. Um, we also have the Packard Museum. Um, so there's all sorts of great vintage automobiles out there you can check out uh, if you're ever in town. And then uh, they just opened up the uh, Funk Museum, which is kind of a long time coming. Uh, they opened up a, a new library on Philadelphia. Uh, the Dayton Funk Museum is in the library at the moment. Um, and you can go there to check out Dayton's uh, storied funk history. Uh, bands like the Ohio Players, Heat Wave, uh, Platypus, Zap and Roger, uh, and a number of other funk bands are right, here, right from Dayton, Ohio. The current owners, Alex and Greg Steiger, their father is who founded the store, um, Gary, and he, um, you know, was a, a staple in the community over there for, for many, many years. Um, and then, uh, he, like I said, in 2009, there was another record store here called Gem City Records, and when they went out of business, uh, he moved the store to over here to uh, the Oregon District. And, um, and then, uh, since he's passed on, uh, his sons have taken over and um, have continued his legacy. So first thing you see when you walk in the door is going to be our new arrivals bin. First place you're going to want to look at if you're a regular customer so you can see, get your hands on, uh, you know, the, the good deals that come in the door first. Uh, right behind the new arrivals bin is going to be our listening stations. Uh, listening stations are going to have new releases. So if a new release came out and you're wanting to check it out, chances are that's where you're going to be able to find it, put the headphones on, listen to it before you buy it. We also have some records that are uh, kind of more hard to find stuff. So if you're looking for something first pressing, stuff like that, we might have some of those on the wall on display. We also have our Omega uh, t-shirts there. So we have a Dayton Funk Capital t-shirt, which is very popular. Uh, we also have a standard Omega Music t-shirts. And we have some shirts from other local businesses too. The Funk Museum has some shirts here. So we're all over the place. Uh, first uh, is going to be our, our website, which is omegamusicdayton.com. Uh, we ship all over the United States. Uh, from that website, but you can also order for in-store pickup. Uh, we also have a, a Discog store, so discogs.com, Omega Music. Um, that's where we sell. Basically, all the records that are for sale in the store are for sale on, on our Discog side as well, So, uh, which is nice for the customer because you can kind of compare price, and we try to stay very competitive. Um, so, you know, if there's a record on there and you're thinking, well, I wonder if maybe I can get this cheaper somewhere else, you can always pull up Discogs on your phone and look and see, oh, okay, Omega, and in this condition, Omega actually does have, you know, the best price. We sell on Amazon.com as well, and then we have an eBay store. So yeah, we've got, uh, I guess, four different places online that we uh, are located at, you could say. I just encourage people to come out for our 33 and a third anniversary. We're going to have uh, food trucks in the parking lot selling breakfast, lunch, dinner. Uh, we're going to have uh, some exclusive t-shirts that we're doing that day, some onesies for the kids as well. Um, and then we've got, of course, the sales. So we, we haven't kind of decided on all the sales yet, but there's definitely going to be some really good deals that day. And again, that's going to be August 5th, 2016. Hope to see you down. There's some budget records you can thumb through there as well. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. <laughs> wow, he's good. <laughs>